welcome back to American Idol Extra. Sitting here with the guy that I know you know, Mr. David Archuleta. Yeah. I'm, I'm laughing because during the break, David was going through the audience making sure they all had a good time at the show. Like, that's how sweet he's like, did you have a good time? Because I'll give you your ticket back if you didn't. Oh, no. Did you have a good time performing last night? Oh, I had a great time. You know, just, oh, it, it was just, you know, you pour your heart and soul and energy, everything into your performances, especially for the, the last night. You just want to leave a good impression. And I just felt like I did what I needed to do. You know, all this work, and it's down to this, and I'm here performing, and I just felt like I really did the best I could. There's nothing I regret. And um, it's just one of the best feelings you could ever feel. Just being. Uh, <laughs> you're the only one here that has to go to school at oh, yeah. the same time. So you're doing the, these video shoots, oh. right? You're doing all the press. You're learning all the new songs. And you're going to school. And you're the only one that has to go to school out of this mm. group. How do you balance that? Um, you know, it was really tough. You know, it's three hours a day. And, you know, especially this past week, it was hard. It's like, I don't think I'm going to find time to rehearse here. But, you know, I just, you know, I managed to go through it and it's just like, you know, it, it worked out at the end. I'm just so grateful. Do you stay aware of what's going on around you? Like there's so much, I mean, endless, oh. ta everything from tabloids to, to the newspapers to the internet. Do you stay uh, aware of what's going on? And no, when, when people are saying junk stuff. about your dad on the internet, do you just, uh, how do you ignore it and keep going? You know, how do you stay focused? You know, you just know that, you know, I think I would know more than anyone else about me and what's being talked about me, of whether course, it's true or not. And so it's just like, you know, if, <laughs> so just, it's like, if it's true, it's like, well, you know, I, I want to, you know, feel like I'm still myself, you know, it's just normal David. Everyone isn't talking about him <laughs> like yeah. that. But, um, just but you're, you're not normal sing. David anymore. I mean, there are the screams from throngs of girls, uh, the proposals yeah. of marriage, <laughs> the signs in the audience that say, David, I'm in love with you. What is it? Uh, I can't call you a sex symbol yet because you're 17. Uh, no. You can be a <laughs> sex symbol at 18, but uh, you're no. a heartthrob <laughs> now. I don't know, it's kind of weird to think of yourself like that. I don't know, no, it's weird. <laughs> but you, I mean, you must see what happens around you. Like, you can't walk down the street right now, can you? You haven't had time to walk down the street, actually. I, I haven't <laughs> done that for a while. <laughs> for months, I've been rehearsing and just, you know, hoping, you know, just been trying to give my best I can. Yeah, do you think he gave his best? Yeah. I think he did. Uh, I think you were fantastic out there, man, yeah, fantastic. We had a question for you from our audience. It is brought to you by AT&T, your world delivered. It's from Carly. Where is Carly in the audience? There's, hi Carly, you got a question? Oh. Hi David, um, oh, I have hi. a question for you. Um, with the formal, former um, American Idol people, who would you compare yourself and why? Yeah, so um, past seasons of Idol, who would you think you're most like? It's hard to compare yourself to someone, I don't know, you just see yourself as you. You know, it's like, I feel like I'm just David. <laughs> you know, stupid at times, but you know, just, um, you know, just, I don't, I don't really compare myself to anyone else. I guess that's why, that's who's made me who I am, you know, just trying to stay myself. And well, that's what Cook has done too. Yeah, well, this has been a season of really unique personalities. Mm. It's been a long journey, as you said. It's been a lot of oh, rehearsing. Man. It's been a long journey since yeah. that first audition back in San Diego. Are you yeah, ready to July. do that? <laughs> you ready to do that thing where we look back and we sort of see the, the David Archuleta journey? Oh, sure. Okay, let's do oh, it. Let's I look hate... back at your journey through Idol. <laughs> You can just affect people so much, just with a song and just the way you sing it. You're a sweetheart. I think you're talented. It's a yes for me to throw. <laughs> Welcome to Hollywood, David. Oh, twice. It's another day for you and me in paradise. Oh, twice. There's no question you're going to make it through to the finals next week. You're <laughs> probably going to be in the final too. I'm loving angels instead And through it all oh! crazy, crazy, crazy hot That sums it up for me Who knows what miracles You can achieve When you believe I say it every time If you can sing, you can sing anything you can sing anything. That was the bomb, baby. Love me tender. Love me true. David, you didn't beat the competition tonight. You crushed the competition. Taking risks, that's what you have to do sometimes. And it was worth it. And I always win.
You were plugging your ears throughout that. <laughs> Do you really uh, not like hearing yourself? I hate, I, I haven't watched any of my performances. I tried to with the very first one, Chop Around, I had to leave the room. I just can't stand it. I, I think, I don't know, it just it bugs me. You also did a pretty good David Archuleta impression with a hand, with the, I know. the singing hand. <laughs> I was like, oh, uh, it's like, get back in. Get, to, get that man back in the, the thing. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't, I don't know. I don't think I anything's wrong with you. I think you're fantastically talented. Give it up, come on, watch more. David Archuleta. Uh, did you have a best week out there? You said you weren't, you know, you weren't thrilled with some weeks. Did you have a best week, one that if they could put it in the time capsule, um, that's what you want them to do? Well, I just, you know, I just loved being able to sing Imagine. I just, you know, what it was able to do for people and people always, you know, people telling me how much they appreciated that performance means a lot to me. And I just, it showed to me what music does and it just shows the power of music. It shows why I love it so much. Thank you very much. David, thank you for oh, sitting thanks. down with us, spending some time. Oh, thanks for this time. Would you, would you sign some autographs on our audience? Oh, sure. We'll keep the yeah. bodyguards around so nobody oh, makes no. you marry them right on the spot. <laughs> Head right on out there. David Archuleta, gonna come sign some pictures. So when we return, I'm gonna talk one-on-one -on -one with your new American Idol, David Cook. And before the night is out, the rest of the top 12 are gonna join me right here on the stage. Idol music director Ricky Miner is gonna talk about working with the contestants, and we're gonna take a look back at some of the great moments from this season of American Idol Extra. It's all coming up, and it's only right here. Stay tuned.